All right, everybody, welcome back to another market update. This time we're going to be covering, obviously, the previous month, which is February. So buckle in and I hope you enjoy. I've made some slight little changes, but obviously the month of February has been, for lack of a better word, astounding in terms of what has occurred uh, in the offering scene for uh, most neighborhoods. Uh, around the HRM. So we'll dive right into it. I actually got rid of the Halifax slide uh, just because it's, you know, when we take a look at the individual neighborhoods, we can get a lot more information of what's going on in the specific zone rather than the entire Halifax County, which really is just kind of a, a roundabout uh, bunch of stats that, that don't really matter in the big scheme of things. Okay, so let us go to Bedford. All right. So once again, uh, we're going to break this down by neighborhood. I think I have 12 different areas uh, in and around Halifax, as well as including Windsor, which is at the end. Um, I'll try to head through them relatively quick. But uh, again, if you have any questions about this data or you want more information that maybe I didn't cover, fire me an email or text or whatever, and I can definitely get that for you. It's uh, all this is done through the Nova Scotia Association of Realtors tool, and I've just gone ahead and aggregated uh, the data points that I think would matter most to you. Again, if you have any others uh, that are uh, not included in this presentation, then definitely point it out to me. I'll try to add them for, for the next one. Okay, so Bedford to start. So the total sales and days on market, I think they had a little bit of an uptick, 17 and 6. You're going to see throughout this slideshow that Pretty much everything is staying on for five, six, four days. Uh, and that's just showing how, how quickly the market is moving. Realtors will put a property on the market or a house or a condo. Uh, house is obviously moving the quickest and land moving the slowest. Uh, but house will go on the market, listed for basically five days. And then they have offers, offers are due. And then boom, they select the right offering and go from there. Uh, so showings per listing and new listings, 24 and 38, 38 is a pretty strong number. Sale price to list price percentage, 116.6%. So basically 16% over the asking price. Uh, this started to get really crazy. Uh, basically mid, well, probably after the first week of February, we started to see consistently houses going for more than $100,000 over ask. So it'll be interesting to see what the average... Uh, what the average over ask is per neighborhood, but really it does depend on where the house is priced, right? Million dollar house is gonna have a different than a $200,000 house. Uh, and it's gonna affect that over asking rate, obviously much more drastically. So single family monthly comparison, last month we had an average of 756, 250, and this month it was 802. So Bedford obviously is climbing uh, in terms of, of uh, what properties are going for there. Condo monthly co comparison, there's not too many condos for sale in Bedford, but what we do have is 461,900 and 493,000. Again, as you can see in the bottom there, based on NSAR stats for March 5th, which is going to be yesterday. Um, yeah, okay. Clayton Park, Rockingham, leave that up for a sec. So obviously Clayton Park, Clayton Park West, and then a bit of Rockingham, right? Uh, the total sales and days on market, 20 and 5, respectively. Showings per listing and new listing, 23.4 and 26. So we're still seeing these high showings per listings numbers, right? And what that means is that there's a lot of people over those five days that the property's on the market, with the average being about 23, there's a lot of people in the market, right? And so we're getting 23 different families in there on average over five days per listing. So it just goes to show how much demand is out there relative to how much supply there is. So they did have 26 new listings, which should offset a bit of that showing, right? When we see those two numbers close together, that is a hopeful sign from our perspective because, you know, as one property comes on, hopefully that will satisfy one buyer who's looking and so on and so forth. So price to list price percentage, very similar to Bedford, 116.9%. Uh, Single family monthly comparison, 685,500 and 719,500. And then condo monthly comparison, 360,800 and 440,750. 
All right, moving on to Coal Harbor. Uh, so leave that up there for a quick second. Total sales and days on market 16 and five. Showings per listing and new listings 23.2 and 22. Sale price to list price percentage 130.6%. So there's a couple neighborhoods that you'll see that were, it's, it's quite absurd how high over the asking price is. And right now where agents are having a hard time balancing pricing below what they think they're gonna get and pricing so far below that they're way out of whack. But at the end of the day, the agent's job on the selling side is to try to get their buyer or sorry, their seller, the most amount of money. So if we're seeing this number quite high, there may be a little bit of a discrepancy, but at the end of the day, these are buyers who come in and they're willing to offer hundreds of thousands over asking uh, single family monthly comparison, 477,650 and 475,000. So Dartmouth, obviously this includes Burnside, uh, and some other, this is one of the larger swaths. Uh, so you're going to get a wide range in terms of what the actual house prices are in the little neighborhoods within Dartmouth. Um, but this just gives you an overview. Total sales and days on market, 32 and 5. Showings per listing and new listing, 33.8 and 37. Sale price to list price percentage, again, 130%. Single family monthly comparison, 436,500 and 485,000. Condo monthly comparison, 307,500 and 290,000. Moving to downtown, as I've covered before, we don't include the uh, single family in this area. There's only Schmidtville, which is just beside um, Spring Garden Road there. And there's hardly any houses that are ever for sale. Total sales, days on market, two and 14. So this is all condos. Showings per listing and new listings, 12.5 and two. Sale price to list price percentage, 118.4%. So I think last month it was 100%. So now we're going to start to see, this is a condo specific neighborhood. We're going to start to see as people get priced out of the house market, we're going to start to see as what happened in Toronto years ago, people shifting from the single family or you know side by side, whatever it is, to a condo where they can still technically own the property and build equity through paying down their mortgage, but they're, they've already been priced out of the housing market. So this is, we're going to start to see a bit more of this. I think this is also the downtown condos will continue to rise as we get more and more traffic problems in the city as the population continues to grow. So uh, those are two important things to keep in mind. Condo monthly comparison, 770,000, 562,000, 250,000. Eastern Passage in Cow Bay. Total sales and days on market 12 and five, showings per listing and new listing 22.6 and eight. Uh, sale price to list price percentage 133.5%. So the new listings there in Eastern Passage was a little lower than it usually is. Um, the sale price to list price percentage again, obviously incredibly high. Uh, and this is one of the trends that we're really seeing in, in, in February, right? As the market continues to heat. Single family monthly comparison, 356,000. $50 versus 388,000. So a lot of those Eastern Passage homes are similarly built, um, which is a pretty good comparison. Obviously they're gonna have some outliers and whatnot, but uh, those numbers we're seeing obviously a bit of a uptick there in terms of the average price even in that one month. Enfield, so this is out by the airport, uh, Lamps, M Enfield, Lance, Elmsdale. Um, total sales and days on market nine, and five, Showings per listing and new listing, 16.9 and nine. Sale price to list price percentage, 101.3%. So that's actually a pretty healthy number, obviously. Uh, and somewhere to take a peek if you're looking to try to bid based on what the houses might be actually priced at. Now, you should probably still be going a little bit over asking, as we can see here, but uh, you know it's not some of these 30%, 25%, 20% over asking that we're seeing in some of these other neighborhoods. Single family monthly comparison, $477,450 versus $567,500. Fairmount, there was actually a little bit of movement. I, I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of Fairmount. Um, you know, it is a smaller neighborhood, but definitely uh, I, I, I don't mind throwing it in there. Total sales and days on market, five and five. Showings per listing and new listings, 10.3 and five. Sale price to list price per 
So Fairmount's usually a little bit higher priced. I guess they've got the new side of the neighborhood and the older side. Um, but that new side of the neighborhood is definitely, uh, you know, up and around the million dollar mark. So you usually have a little bit less in terms of how far over asking properties are going just because there's less competition. Single family monthly comparison, 600 to $1,500 and $971,000. Fairview. Fairview had some pretty big moves. Total sales and days on market. There's only four sales in Fairview. Uh, days on market, again, four. Showings per listing. And you listing 39 showings per listing. That is crazy. 40 showings per listing is in four days. And there were six new listings. So obviously a pretty low amount of new listings, which may have driven you know, the interest in those houses that were for sale. Uh, sale price to list price percentage, 122.2%. Single family monthly comparison, 450,000 versus 525,000. Fall River, Fall River had definitely the most out of whack numbers uh, in terms of over ask. Total sales and days on market two and five. Showings per listing and new listing, 13.4 and four. Uh, sale price to list price percent, 145.7%. Uh, so that is pretty crazy 50 percent tack on on top of the actual list price so you know it's like if something's listed for two hundred thousand, it goes for three hundred thousand, right single family monthly comparison eight hundred seventy five thousand versus six hundred eighty seven thousand five hundred dollars sorry my phone's buzzing here uh hammond's plains lucasville obviously a larger swath of area uh you've got ton of different neighborhoods, but generally properties with a bit more space here, a bit further out. Um, and sometimes on the lakes too. Total sales and days on market, eight and five. Showings per listing and new listing, 12.6 and nine. Sale price to list price percentage, 120.4%. Single family monthly comparison, 642,450 and $831,600. The North End Halifax. So North End's obviously been seeing a lot of changes. Again, you get varying uh, price points in this area just because you've got some smaller houses down uh, by Duffus and you've got the Hydrostone as well mixed in there. And then you've got some larger houses sprinkled throughout, a couple multi units as well. Total sales and days on market six and five. Showings per listing and new listing 21.6 and 11. Sale price to list price percentage, 116.7%. Single family monthly comparison is $625,000 versus $644,499, which is basically $645. Condo monthly comparison is $409,900 and $529,000. Sackville, Beaver Bank. Again, we'll leave this up here for a minute. So that's Lower Sackville, Upper Sackville, Middle Sackville, uh, Windsor Junction, and Beaver Bank. Uh, Upper Sackville being, you know, Indigo Shore, some of those nicer uh, lakeside houses, and then you get uh, a varying degree throughout the rest of the area. Total sales and days on market, 27 and 4. Showings per listing and new listings, 25.4 and 39. So strong new listings, high showings, uh, but hopefully that will affect this next number. Sale price to list price percentage, 131.5%. So quite high. Single family monthly comparison, $427,500 versus $509,500. $509,500. The South End, is that up here? Definitely one of the nicer neighborhoods in uh, Nova Scotia and HRM in particular. Total sales and days on market, seven and 13. Showings per listing and new listings, 11.3 and eight. Sale price to list price percentage is 118.4%. Single family monthly comparison is 1.618329 million and 1.37 million. Condo monthly comparison, there's only a couple condo buildings, but usually go for a decent amount. Although there's a couple cheaper 300,000 ish condos that were sold, uh, which obviously affected this number $574,900 versus last month's or this month's $365,000. Spryfield and Armdale. 
Total sales and days on market, 19 and five. So quite a high amount of sales. Showings per listing and new listings, 30 and 20. 30 is obviously very high. And 20 is good. It's filling up that total sales uh, inventory loss. But uh, still, again, another crazy sale price to list price percentage, 135.5%. Single family monthly comparison, $529,900 and $527,000. Condo monthly comparison is $359,000 versus $545,750. Tantal and Hubley, uh, there was some pretty big activity out here. I had a few showings out here on some houses that went significantly over ask. But again, you got the lakes, the land, and the ocean. Total sales and days on market, nine and five. Showings per listing and new listings, 24.1 and 10. Sale price to list price percentage, 115.6%. Single family monthly comparison, $649,900 versus $750,000. Okay, Timberley and Beachville. So again, kind of the area just beyond Bears Lake, the big shopping district, but uh, yeah. Pretty beautiful area, very accessible to the city. Total sales and days on market, seven and five. Showings per listing and new listing, 23 and nine. Sale price to list price percentage, 128.6%. Again, crazy over asking. It's important to take these into account when you're putting in bids on these neighborhoods out here. Single family monthly comparison, 520,608,882. West End Halifax. Total sales and days on market, 10 and five respectively. Showings per listing and new listings, 21 and 15 respectively. Sale price to list price percentage, 124.6%. Single family monthly comparison, 672,713 and 612,000. Finally, we're at Windsor, which actually had a pretty big uptick. This past month, um, you know, it's, I've been talking about it for a couple months now. I think Windsor is definitely a, another valid place to live if you're looking to lower your uh, barrier to entry. Um, obviously, the sale price to list price percentage has gone up. I think last couple months it's been 100%. So it gets rid of a bit of that um, confidence when you're going to the offering table. But, you know, you're still getting decent sized houses for a decent price and you're within an hour of the city on a uh, divided highway. Total sales and days on market, 13 and 8. Showings per listing and new listing, 11.8 and 16. Sale price to list price percentage is 115.4. Uh, and single family monthly comparison is $328,500 versus $365,000. Okay, folks. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. A little slideshow there. Again, we'll come up with another one. I'm going to, I'm really making an effort to up the quality of some of the other content I create on my YouTube channel. Uh, so definitely like and subscribe if you're uh, interested in finding out a bit more about what Halifax has to offer, surrounding areas, and a little bit more about what the real estate scene is here. So other than that, have a great day. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.